guys what's up this video has been long awaited by you guys i told you that i was gonna give you this video like last summer and i didn't <laughs> so here it is if you are new here hey what's up my name is shannon and i am a mom and a coach and i just like to share stuff so if you clicked on this video because you've never followed me before and you just wanted to see what's in this video then that's totally cool but subscribe and like if this helps you out i had the hardest time and i'm not even kidding hardest time trying to get my daughter to stop breastfeeding my first kid i breastfed for about two months and then my milk just ran out and i was not able to breastfeed anymore we just ended up giving him formula and then everything was fantastic after that i had my daughter in 2018 and i was like okay i'm gonna breastfeed for as long as i possibly can didn't realize that was going to be for the full two years so that was a journey in itself okay so basically i am like i'm a co-sleeper if you're not that's fine if you hate it keep your comments to yourself um we co-sleep with my daughter we did it with my son um for a little while and now we kind of have to because we have no room and we are staying at my parents house right now but she is two and a half and she sleeps with us still i had the hardest time stop like quitting breastfeeding because i think because she slept with us when your kid is like so close to you constantly it's really hard to get them off and like willing to stay off so i did so much research i tried everything i tried like stuff from pinterest i tried hacks that like my friends would tell me like how they got their kid to stop breastfeeding i was the only person though that i know that actually did co-sleeping and so everything that i tried literally did not work nothing worked until i stumbled upon a video if i can find this video because it's pretty old if i can find this video i will link it down here in the description box um because finding that video was literally a godsend and so she had this idea and so it's not my idea like i didn't come up with this but i wanted to share it with you guys because it worked wonders and it worked instantly like it it shocked me that this actually worked but i was like okay i literally have tried everything else i might as well try this out and see if it works and if it does cool if not then i just keep going to try to find something basically what she said to do was to take band-aids normal band-aids whatever kind of band-aids you want they can be minion band-aids they can be regular band-aids they can be cloth band-aids waterproof band i don't care whatever band-aid you want and put them over right over your nipples. That feels really weird to say on camera. <laughs> now, I don't know how this would work having your kid be younger, but like I said, my daughter was basically two. Like we were approaching two years old and I was like, I do not want to breastfeed her anymore after she's two, I, I can't do it. But she was so attached that I think we were getting to a point where she was just, it was more of a pacifier. I was like, okay, this sounds crazy and it's probably gonna hurt, but let's see what happens. So sure enough, I went in and I grabbed um, one band-aid for each side and then I came out of the bathroom and when my daughter had asked to be like, she asked for milk because we were going to go to bed, she looked at me and I actually just, I lifted up my shirt and I showed her and she was like, oh no, you have an owie. And it, it hit her real fast that she couldn't touch them like without me saying anything and what was crazy is that she one had never had like an owie so she never had to have like a band-aid before so it wasn't like she physically understood that there was an owie there and there have been many times where i was telling her that it just hurt and i couldn't give her milk anymore because it hurt but she would just scream and cry like she didn't get it but that night when i showed her that i had band-aids on my boobs she didn't even try to touch them so i left them on and um, basically in the video, the girl, I think she said to just le like do it every night until they stop asking because they're going to ask you. So I guess it could take any different amount of time for anybody for them to stop asking. It actually took her two weeks. So I had to do this every single night for two weeks, but she stopped breastfeeding like the first night. The first night that I did it, she understood, okay, mommy has an owie and I can't touch there which I thought was really cool, but she asked every single day, sometimes multiple times a day for two weeks. And so sometimes I left them on in the morning and she just wanted to make sure that I, like I still had an owie. Like she would check. Sometimes she would just walk over and she would just like lift my shirt up and I'm like, whoa. And then she'd like, oh, mommy still got an owie. And I'm like, yeah, mommy has an owie. And she's like, oh, 
okay. And she would just keep going, you know, walk away. She started falling to sleep a lot quicker and that's basically it. And I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds like there's no way that sounds way too easy, but that's what I did. And that is exactly how I got her to stop breastfeeding. She still sleeps with me now and she doesn't even try. I know that some babies that are breastfed are more attached just because of that bonding and everything. So they, she every once in a while will like grab my boob, but that's it. Um, but that is the only thing that worked for us. Like nothing else worked at all. It was absolutely crazy that this worked. I almost didn't try it. Cause I was like, that's weird. Like she doesn't care. I tell her all the time that like, it's an owie. I always told her, like it hurts mommy, I can't give you milk or there's no more, mommy doesn't have any. Like, it, I don't even think it was the fact that she didn't understand, I think she just didn't care. <laughs> and, but once I had band-aids, it was like physical proof that mommy had an owie, so she stopped. So she didn't wanna hurt me because she knew that I was already hurt, so she didn't wanna like hurt me anymore. So it was just kind of cool to see like the thought process of her and it worked and we are, you know, she, she'll be, three in July and we are going very strong and she is a co-sleeper and so that's why I wanted to make this video because I think that the the lady in the video that I saw her son I think was able to quit faster like he stopped asking quicker because he wasn't a co-sleeping baby but she was a co-sleeper so I, that's why I was nervous that it wouldn't work but obviously it can work for like basically any kid so if you are struggling right now to get your kid or your baby, however old they are, to stop breastfeeding. I know that some people want to breastfeed forever. Some people love it, but some people, you know, sometimes you just get, it just makes you so tired and it gets you irritated sometimes. So I know that sometimes it's hard for them to, um, don't kick that. It's hard for them to stop and it's hard for you to actually get sleep when you're breastfeeding and especially if they do it at night. I saw a lot of videos that parents said that their kids, they only like breastfed every once in a while during the daytime and then they fully stopped night feeding, but night feeding was the problem with us. I was able to get her to stop throughout the whole day. She ate regular food, she had juice, she had milk, she had like a bunch of stuff, but then at nighttime, that's when she wanted it. Either way, I definitely suggest trying it out. If you guys do try this, if this is something that works for you, comment down below and let me know that this worked for you because I was shocked that it worked and I'm so happy that I tried it. So I will talk to you guys next time. Please like and subscribe and go follow me on Instagram for more daily fun. I will see you guys next time. Bye.